what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Sasha in case you're new here and I'm really grateful that you guys clicked on my video so in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make an intro now I did a poll a couple months ago Ooh, sorry like a couple months ago and you guys voted to see this one so sorry it's a bit late but you know better late than never also if you guys are not following my Instagram you guys should be so go ahead and follow me it'll be linked down below somewhere on the screen it's just simply Sasha 414 just like my channel and yeah so before I get started I just want to give credit where credit is due every time I have trouble finding out how to do something on my MacBook or anything with editing and things like that I always go to YouTube and um, the video that in that showed me like what program to use and things like that and kind of inspired me is linked down below so you guys can check that out if you like at the end of this video yeah um, but yeah with that being all said don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, upload every week and I will really appreciate it if you guys join the family um, press the little red button it's free also hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a brand new video and give this video a thumbs up all right now let's jump into the video so before we start jumping into editing and all of that and filming this video let's grab some coffee I was gonna make coffee but I decided to make my pink drink instead this stuff has amazing benefits it gives you energy also clears brain fog and helps you focus and it tastes really good so if you guys want some more information about this or a video on it let me know in the comments below but we're gonna go ahead and get into what this video is really about making an intro all right first things first you want to go ahead and decide on what kind of aesthetic or what kind of feel you want for your intro. Do you want modern? Do you want boho? Do you want simple? Do you want clean? Do you want colorful? Things like that. You have to kind of decide that and uh, maybe play around with some colors and see what goes together, things like that. What I did is I went for a, I don't want it to be overwhelming for my, like, intro for my regular videos like my you know non-vlog videos but for my vlog intro I just wanted um, some pictures of me and it to be um, a little bit fun looking and still clean but pop a little bit Does that makes sense no okay we're gonna get to it so. the first thing that I do is well the first thing that I use is I use keynotes to make my intros and um, it looks just like this. It looks like a little podium. So I click it and I click new document and then I just click the basic white. So once this pops up, I go ahead and delete all of this and I zoom in a little bit so I can see the whole thing. Okay, so what you wanna do is pick a background or that's what I do. Now you can either choose a color if you like, like the background color you can make it green, you can do that. I like to pick a color from um, my pick, my app that I use or my software that I use. It's called PicMonkey. It's what I use to edit my thumbnails. So I usually get that and find a background that I like and I save it to my desktop so it's easy for me to, you know, just drag and pull. So it's right here, I grab it, I pull it there. And then I just stretch it out so it takes up the whole space of the white area of this like card, I guess you could call it a card. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is what I do. So once I'm done with that, I want to choose photos that I want to add or any little thing you guys want to add with, whether it's a graphic, words, anything like that. I'm going to start with photos because this is for my vlog and I want to use photos. 
Um, so I go ahead and I picked three photos that I have on my desktop that I'm gonna drag. So the first one I'm gonna do is this one of me. Um, this cute one we took on my husband's birthday weekend. I like this one and then what I'm gonna do is actually I am going to animate it and I'm going to I want it to like slide in so when you do that you from format you go to animate right up here you go to build in and you go to add effect so I want the move in effect but I don't want it to come from that way I want it to come from the opposite way so I put right to left and then you hit preview and it comes in there and then I want it to do a little action I think I just want it to jiggle a little bit and a small jiggle maybe yeah and a little slower Let's see if that good all right so it does that and then um, I'm gonna pick my second picture which I want it to be this one to be next which is a picture of me and my hubby in matching shirts so we're gonna do that I think I want it a little smaller so we're gonna do that I want to do the same building so I'm gonna do it again move in but this time I want that one to come in from the left to right so I leave it there and uh, the action I'm gonna do is a bounce don't want it to bounce we don't want it to pop maybe we'll do a pop We'll see, we'll play around. So that's that. And then my last picture is gonna be of me again because it's all about me. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is my second one. I'm gonna make that a little smaller and kind of put it in the center of the two photos. And I'm gonna actually build this in again. I want this to drop from the bottom to the top. And then after that, the action I want it to do, I don't think I want it to do an action, but if I do, we'll figure that out. After that, you're gonna want it to do an action actually going out as well. So, I'm going to do this one, and I want it to drop out, move out, but I want it to do from top to bottom it came in from bottom to top and then this one also I want to move out from right to left so the opposite of what it came in yeah so if you play it right now this is how it would look come in shake come in pop drop exit out so I want that picture to stay of me and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a subscribe button and my name and so yeah stuff like that here's what I did I brought in this so I just made this on pick monkey saved it to my desktop and brought it in and then the action that I did was a lens so you can go to change and hit the lens flare and then it just looks like this Oh, not showing you everything. So the lens flare will do that. And then this is the subscription button that I went with. And then I also added that it's a vlog because I have another intro for, you know, my reg my main videos, not vlog videos. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, people who are watching the video knows that this is going to be a vlog. So I just typed this pretty little thing. It's a vlog. Um, and put it right here and then you put all your animations and things like that like I showed you in the beginning of the vlog the vlog <laughs> you put in all your animations like I showed you at the beginning of the video and then you go to build order down here and you want to make sure that all of them are combined like this like okay so see how this is separate you want to make sure that they're together so that it can be a full um, movie once you're done with that, you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Export, you're going to export it into a movie so that it plays all the way through. You're going to want to do 1080 and then um, Next. And then you save it and you save it where you want and you hit Export. So once you're done with that, after we're all done with exporting, you're going to want to go to iMovie. So I already started it off 
kind of I only picked the music that I wanted to go with it so and sorry guys I'm getting text messages okay so once you've saved it and things like that you're gonna put it into iMovie and I, in iMovie I went ahead and dropped it in and I put a sound like I put a music for the background or not background I put music to it and then I used a what is it transition I used the blur is this the cross blur I think cross blur transition yeah so I put that in the beginning of the video right here so you could just grab it and pull down and that's what I used and then this is the music turn it down some it's a little loud so to make it a little bit more like mm, put a little bit more mm on it I'm gonna add some sound effects so I'm gonna add a sound effects for my name coming in with this twilight and I have some here. Okay guys, so after I do all the effects, um, I added one last transition to fade out to black. And then that is basically it. Then it takes a minute for it to export and process. And now I will play for you guys the final intro. Okay guys, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, um, if you felt like I missed something or didn't talk about something, leave them in the comments down below and I would be happy to answer them or maybe do a part two to this video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I am on Instagram, simply slash 404. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And leave comments of what videos you would like to see, whether they are YouTube related or lifestyle related. Let me know. I'm here to help and just yeah happy to help <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so so much and i will see you guys on my next video bye Mwah. deuces